Donny Benet here. No, sorry, not Donny Benet. It's Darren Riley, obviously. Uh, I'm going to be painting Donny Benet um, because he's amazing. I'm splashing the page here. I'm splashing the page. He's so amazing. Um, who is Donny Benet? Who's Don Donny Benet? Uh, it's getting more and more. Who's Donny Benet? He's an Australian. He's a musician. He's a bass player. He's an amazing bass player. And songwriter, singer, synth player, multi instrumentalist. Um, and he's done some great albums, um, all in kind of. Harking back to the 80s pop sounds, um, smooth pop sounds, think uh, Donald Fagan's Nightfly, think Fallen Oats, um, think some Reach Sakamoto, um, all that stuff. Harold Faltermeyer, yeah, some Miami Vice. Um, and sorry, I lost my train of thought then. Um, the music is kind of the lyrics are they're funny. Are they comedy songs? Not quite. He's kind of like a Cynthia eighties pop version of the darkness, and I mean that. Um, as a compliment um, where you've got a band like The Darkness who the first time you hear them be like uh, what, what, you know, what, what's going on with these guys are they serious what's happening and they are serious but with tongue in cheek serious about having fun they're serious about loving the music that they're paying tribute to uh, but serious about making great music uh, rather than just cover versions and to make great music but the lyrics are funny the lyrics will make you laugh a um, song, lot of songs about him being an amazing lover um, and then the songs about him not being an amazing lover. There's a song called Second Dinner, where he's um he's facing facts now that he would prefer sneaking down to the kitchen to the fridge at midnight uh, and eating the leftovers rather than making love. Um, and him saying it's a line about you used to be able to touch his toes, but um, can't do that anymore. You used to be able to make love all night. Uh, now he's more into having his second dinner. It's so good. I just like second dinner. So yeah, second dinner, singular. I like that as well. Don't know why. Second dinner. Oh yeah, it's just great. It's great music. The production is fantastic. He's listened to a lot of 80s music. Um, he plays uh, loads of vintage synths on it. All in his studio, Donnyland. Uh, he's he's brilliant. And um, I mean, have to mention uh, his hair. <laughs> he got that that thing on top, long at the back. It's great. It's particularly Australian. Uh, he's got he's got that look that like, Australians are just so good at irony these days. At ironic pop music. It is so I went and just this whole indie kid look. Even Donny who's um at heart a jazzer, I think. Um he just, 
he, he, he looks like the Australian indie kids. And this is the thing I went to when I went to um, see the Stroppies in Melbourne, and um, it was full of indie kids. And a lot of the indie kids there were like my age, forties, and they just they still look like indie kids. They got indie kid haircuts and uh, indie kid clothes and uh, there was just something about the Aussie fans that I, I loved, still do and the bands were the same and Donny's the same um, he's got this ironic but not ironic thing going on don't know what it is but they just um Aussie bands, man, they were ass. Aussie bands, Aussie fans, so good. So I discovered Donny's music whilst I was watching um, a synth video about classic synths, I know. It was actually about the DX7. Uh, this is a classic 80s synth. And it said, you know, you may like did it? Or maybe it mentions, someone mentioned Donnie in the, in the comments. So I had a look. Wow, yes. Absolutely. So you're now making him look like he's got hair on top. That's all right. So yeah, Donnie Benet. You should check it out. Uh, he's funny as well. His um, YouTube channel uh, shows that he's a funny in person. Good on the camera. It's just great, love it. But ultimately, this stuff doesn't work if the music's bad and the music is is not bad. I think it's really good. It's not bad at all. <laughs> anyway, here he is. It's Donny Benet. He's very laid back. Hi. Donny Benet here. <laughs> I love him. I love you, Donny. If you're watching this, I love you, Donny. Gutted that I discovered him. I didn't discover him, you know what I mean. Find out about him. Um, two months after he'd already been digging in Manchester. I could have gone watching him if I'd stumbled across him sooner. That's the way it goes, isn't it? Ain't that always the way? Painting this very loosely, as you can see. Just a quick sketch. We might have a nap after this. I was in uh, work in Manchester at uh, ten past six this morning. <laughs> Woke up at time to wake up. What past five? I knew I wasn't going to get back to sleep, so so I did. Got up, went into work. Also, went in early because I'm going watching Heim later in Leeds. Uh, so I thought, as soon as I finish, get back home, have a nap. Have a nap, see. And then get home after the gig and have my second dinner. So, there we go. I think that's Donny Benet, isn't it? Donny Benet. And, um, I'll put some words on it. I should do, shouldn't I? Let's do it with my other hand, unless you won't see it. Donny, can you play left-handed? Tell me. Bet you can. I just like Donny Benet, oh yeah.
Nice. <laughs> dung. I feel like she says dung. Been here. <laughs> oh dear. Let's change that. Donny. There we go. Better. Donny been here. Australia's smoothest pop star. Go and check him out. You'll love him. Bye.